Have you ever been using Selenium in Python and you were trying to use the get attribute method, but you didn't know which actual attributes are available to select from? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to run a JavaScript in Selenium that's going to list all of the available attributes for you to select from to get the information you want out of the element. Stay tuned. Okay, so in order to accomplish this, I'm using four libraries. These are the core Selenium libraries, which include the web driver, this by library and service. And then additionally, I'm using pprint, which just stands for pretty print. And this is going to give us a nice clean output. Okay. So once you have those four libraries imported, you set the location of your Chrome driver and you get the web page in question. So I'll show you that. And we're going to be loading this web page. This is just a, a clothing e-commerce website. Simple as that. And what we're going to get is all of the attributes of various elements on this page. So let me uncut that. So this is the script in question, and I'm going to put a link in the description below where you can download this exact script here. If you just want to copy it, you can probably, I'll just, you can go back at address, which just stands for attributes equals driver dot execute script. So this is the script and you pass into the script, the element that's that you want to parse out all of the attributes. And then from this ATTRS variable, you, you pretty print those out. So let's, let's do some tests on the first. So I do header image. This is just a, a placeholder. I, I copy and pasted a few things. Header image equals driver dot find element by equals by dot class name. And the first item is this button outline. This is just a class and let's see what is in, what is in here because we, we can't print anything yet. So we'll comment that out. What attributes do I have to select from? I have the class attribute and the href attribute. So if I were to type in href right here, and we'll get rid of this. So it's a little cleaner. If I were to type in href, that will give me the link that's contained in this button value. Okay. Now let's do the next value of this class is the header class. So let's get all of the attributes out of the first instance of the header class. So we're going to go back, uncomment this, comment out this, and there you go. There's the, there's role and data scroll lock. And of course the class name, the class is an attribute. So let's print out data scroll lock and that should come out to be false. Keep cleaning up this there you go. and stay tuned because the final attribute is quite important. The final test we do. Okay. So it says false exactly as we expected. We have, I, I wanted to get this a, this anchor. So what's super important about this is that you have to drill down to the specific element. If you go for the div, it's not going to give you all of the child, you know, elements attributes. You have to be very, very specific. And the best way to be specific about anything is using XPath. So. How did I get this XPath? I used as, I used a plugin called XPath Finder for Chrome. Here it is. And once you enable that and you click on the element in question, it'll pull up the precise XPath here. There's a link for the XPath Finder in the description as well, right next to this, this JavaScript. So yeah, so that's the same as this. And we can find the attributes of that that read now button, which I just showed you, you know, the, or read more, this one here. And here are the attributes of it. So let's, let's get the href out of that URL. Yeah, there it is. So that's the way to all the attributes. Your biggest hurdle in accomplishing this is, is selecting the correct item. You know, if you have to, a lot of times you're not going to drill down properly because there's not really any diagnostic on like which, you know, how to do the matching of which element is, is actually being selected. So I recommend using XPath and XPath Binder for this. And this is the, the JavaScript. Thank you so much for watching. If, if you got anything, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And uh, thank you so much. Bye-bye.